Hey y'all, this is Rick. I'm with Annie, NASM, and I've been watching Annie's overhead squat, and she's got her feet turning out like this, all right? So as her feet turn out, we're gonna go through a corrective exercise series with Annie to try to remedy that. So the first thing we're gonna look at is we have to release some muscles. So the muscles we're gonna release are going to be the calves, all right? So gastrocnemius, the soleus. Then we're gonna go through some, uh, some lengthening techniques for that, so we're gonna stretch them and then we're gonna activate the underactive muscles. We're looking at the uh, anterior and the posterior tibialis. I'm gonna show you where those are and how to do them. And then we're gonna get into some more of a, like an integrated stabilization technique so that we get her functioning in normal movement patterns, not just an isolated movement pattern. So Annie, let's get started. So we're just gonna show you what to do on the right side. Now, uh, this is gonna be at the highlight version. So Annie's gonna do, she's gonna release these calves, keep the foot completely relaxed, and she's gonna do a search and destroy. So she's gonna roll through, try to find out where those tent spots are. Now what she's done is she's taken the other leg, added it on top, put some weight on it, put a little bit of pressure on it. Now she's lifted up her backside. She's gonna put a little more pressure on it, but make sure these muscles stay relaxed in the feet. All right, now once Annie finds that spot, I'm gonna have her just rest her backside down and then she can take that top leg and put some additional pressure on it so that way she's not holding herself up the entire time. Some of your clients, like Annie, be able to do it. Some of the clients not gonna be able to do it. it might hurt people's wrists, so uh, just have a seat when you do this. That's what I do. So uh, now she's, getting, she's gone through the release, the little soleus, the gastrocnemius release. Um, Normally, you'd look for at least two spots released for 30 seconds. Let's assume that we've done that. Hop up and let's get some stretching in. So we're going to do a stretch specific, specifically for the, the calves here. So Annie's going to go into that stretch. Now realize that her feet turn out. So when she stretches, that foot's going to have to be straight ahead, maybe even slightly internally rotated. Because if it's short this way, then we're gonna lengthen it more by straightening it up. So let's keep it in a neutral position. And what Annie can do here is that normally should be up against a wall, we should be on a slant board, so we're just giving you the visual. What I want you to do, yeah, go ahead and press into me if you need to, lean forward. She's gonna drive the heel into the ground. You're gonna lock out your knee. And then, strangely, but this works, she's gonna squeeze her glute. So get that butt cheek squeezed, glutes tight, quads tight, heel drives down. And it's interesting, you, the glute squeeze it, it, it actually helps her to supinate, which gets her out of pronation. So we're gonna go through this, and it's just a perfect example of how connected the body is, right? So glutes tight, quads tight, heel driven down. She's released that muscle for 30 seconds. Let's go into some activations. So the activation, she's gonna stay on that same foot. And I'm gonna have Annie now go into, um, uh, let's do an isolated activation and then we'll do an integrated activation. So go ahead and let's drop you down, put your foot on the roller, and she's going to do a, an activation for her anterior tibialis. So the, tibial, the tibia is this bone right here. Anterior tibialis is this muscle. You can see it on this leg. So that muscle activates by going into dorsiflexion and inversion. So this is eversion, this is inversion. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to resist that. So I'm gonna resist dorsiflexion, which is the foot going up, and inversion. So I'm pulling at this angle. I'm also holding her ankle because I don't wanna pull this direction and make her hip work, so I'm just gonna stabilize it. Go ahead and slowly come down, and then back up. Good. So that is your anterior tib activation. Your posterior tib activation is plantar flexion with inversion. So she's going this direction. So again, I'm going to hold her foot and I'm pulling against the inversion. So go ahead and slowly undo it and go ahead and plant our flex and invert. Good. Go one more time, invert more, 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 squeeze it. Now hold it there. Don't let me move you and slowly come with me. So she's getting the eccentric activation here and relax. So now that we've done some isolated activation, Let's do some integrated stuff. So hop up and have her do some balance exercises. So you're gonna stand on that same leg you just did activations with, and she's gonna go into, let's say instead of a multi-planar reach, instead of doing one, two, three, let's just have your hands on the hips and make circles, all right? Now, as she's doing this, 
And you as a coach or a trainer are gonna be watching her to make sure the hips are completely level. So if you see the hips moving this way and she's starting to shift, I'm gonna move that hip out to the side, make sure she's neutral. So if she's, uh, she's working at retail and she's typing some stuff up for you, you have no idea that the person behind the desk is doing some weird activations for her uh, feet that turn out, right? So she's doing this, she's looking great. Now let's do an integrated exercise that integrates the upper body with the lower body. We're gonna do a reverse lunge and she's gonna do the opposing arm, right? So if she stands on her right leg, it's her left hand that's gonna be in the resistance. And you're standing on your right leg, yeah. So let's go ahead and switch it. Reverse lunge. And instead of a press, she's gonna do a row. So go ahead and reach back and stand up. Row, nice. So she's gonna lock out that quad, squeeze that glute right there. Go ahead and reach back again and pull up. Now again, this is gonna be a more difficult exercise doing a unilateral than if she did both at the same time because it's easier to balance from her leg if she's using both of her hands. But I take this one away and she's doing the opposite side. She's got some crisscross activation in her body that she's gotta stabilize down at her foot. All right, so it's her foot that's stabilizing this whole movement pattern here. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Again, the highlighted version of a lower extremity postural uh, dysfunction fix. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. If you have questions, let us know. Uh, it's Annie. I'm Rick with NASN.